Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's both alarming and crucial. The top 10 cities that face the risk of being underwater by 2050 due to rising sea levels caused by climate change. Stay tuned to find out which cities are on the front lines and which cities you gotta prioritize to visit on your list. Before we reveal our list, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content related to lifestyle and travel. To set the stage right, we want you to know that we've considered several factors in creating this list, including the rate of sea level rise, local topography, and current adaptation efforts. Keep in mind that these predictions are based on scientific assessments, but the future remains uncertain. All right, are you ready? At number 10, the beautiful island of Mali in the Maldives. The Indian Ocean island country, the Maldives, has been aware of the threat of rising sea levels for quite some time now. The nation has even apparently begun building a floating city to deal with it. As it stands, it isn't so much the Maldivian capital Mali itself that is at risk, but its infrastructure surrounding the islands. From the airport to much of the island of Hulhumale, rising tide levels pose a serious problem to the nation at large. Number 9. Tokyo, Japan From Chiba to Osaka, the built-up nature of some coastal Japanese cities makes them vulnerable to rising sea levels, especially during typhoon season, which usually happens between May to October. Most are well-equipped to deal with this sort of stuff, but Tokyo might have some big problems. The combined effect of an increase in typhoon intensity and sea level rise could pose significant challenges to coastal defenses around Tokyo Bay. Number 8. The glamorous city of London. Global warming has put London at risk of sinking, along with other major cities, as rising sea levels spell more flooding along the Thames estuary. Without radical coastal reinforcement strategies, the rise would see large parts of the capital underwater. Some particular vulnerable areas lie along the River of Thames, setting for some of the capital's most important buildings, such as the Tower of London and Houses of Parliament, to be underwater. Number 7. Bangkok, Thailand A 2020 study found that Bangkok could be the city that's worst hit by global warming in the short term. The Thai capital sits just one and a half meters above sea level, and like Venice, it's sinking, but much, much faster than what you might think. Bangkok is also built on a very dense clay soil, which makes it even more prone to flooding. By 2030, most of the coastal Takam and Samut Prakan areas could be underwater. Number 6. Kolkata, India Much of the West Bengal has thrived for centuries because of its fertile landscape, but as the map above shows, that has become great cause for concern in Kolkata and its surroundings. Like Ho Chi Minh, the city could struggle during monsoon season as rainwater has less land to run off into. At number 5. Venice, Italy in the very near future, Venice faces a twin threat. Sea levels are rising and the city itself is sinking by two millimeters every year. The Venetian capital has already been hit by severe flooding and climate change is likely to increase the frequency of high tides that submerge it. And at number four, New York in the USA. Sea level rise and flooding pose a significant risk to New York's people, resources and the economy. The state's marine counties are home to nearly half of the state's residents, and New York City alone houses more than 1 million workers and over 200,000 small businesses. With a stronger storm surge brought on by high sea levels, all of New York City infrastructure faces a serious risk, as major flooding has the ability to not only shut down parts of the city, but cause billions of dollars worth of damage. Number 3. Amsterdam, the Netherlands. There is a reason they're called the Low Countries. Amsterdam and the cities of Rotterdam and The Hague sit low, flat and close to the North Sea. The Dutch are famed for their flood defenses and looking at these sea level projections, it seems the country's system of dikes, dams, barriers and floodgates will become even more essential in the years to come. Number 2. Shanghai, China This is the financial capital of China and the country's most populous city. Scientists project that it is particularly vulnerable to ocean flooding as it lies relatively low, similar to the neighboring Jiangsu province. As Shanghai also lacks any coastal defenses, water may threaten the heart of the city, as well as areas around it. Last but not least, number one, Jakarta, Indonesia. 
Jakarta, which is the capital of Indonesia, has already suffered due to excessive flooding that has devastated the city. And according to estimates, the city will be totally submerged by 2050. The situation is so drastic that the government has decided to relocate 10 million people 100 miles away from the coast. That tells you something. Jakarta must be on your bucket list to be visited in the near future because, hey, you never know. If you wait a few years, probably you won't have the chance to see that beautiful city as it will be totally submerged under sea. Thank you for joining us today in this video. If you found it informative and thought-provoking, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more engaging content. Until next time, stay informed and take action. See you in the next video.